Over the years, Earth's history has seen a number of mass extinctions. But without doubt, one of the most well-known happened 65 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period, with the death of around 70% of all species. The most common theory for the demise of the dinosaurs is that a large asteroid struck in Mexico, forming a 240 km wide crater. This giant space debris caused a massive chain of events. The ground shook. Powerful gusts roiled the atmosphere. Debris rained from the sky. Soot and dust spewed by the impact and resulting wildfires filled the sky. That soot and dust then began to spread, blocking sunlight over the entire planet. For two years, no light reached the Earth's surface. Global temperatures plummeted 16 degrees Celsius. The results of this meant that plants died, then plant eaters died, and finally meat eaters. So avoiding another cataclysmic event would be good for the future of mankind. According to BuzzFeed News, a joint venture between NASA, the National Nuclear Security Administration, and weapons labs from the Energy Department has resulted in designs for a spacecraft capable of saving the planet. Dubbed Hammer, the 8.8-ton craft will be able to alter the orbit of an incoming asteroid, either by crashing into a small one or by detonating a nuclear device on a large one. Scientists are using an asteroid named Bennu for a case study. According to calculations, there is a 1 in 2,700 chance it will strike the Earth in 2,135. Launched in 2016, the Osiris-Rex spacecraft is currently on its way there. Later this year, it will scoop up a sample from the surface of Bennu in a touch-and-go maneuver, before it returns to the Earth. Bennu is around one-third of a mile wide and weighs 174 billion pounds. If it struck the Earth, it would trigger a 1.13 gigaton blast, more than 20 times larger than the biggest hydrogen bomb ever tested. Detection of potentially dangerous near-Earth objects needs to remain one of NASA's priorities. Time is the most important factor. If you have more time, this problem gets much easier. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.